Hello, this is Solar PV TV from EU PVSEC 2016 from Munich. Now we are together with um, Oliver Schaffer, who is president of Solar Power Europe, the main industry supporter, partner of EU PVSEC, but also, I would say, one of the pioneers of renewable energies uh, in Europe, uh, working previously for the European Renewable Energy Council. So I would say the person who is quite skilled and experienced in the lobbying activities. Thanks for, for the kind introduction. Indeed, I mean, I'm working on renewable energy since 15 years, also solar including that. And honestly, when 15 years ago I thought about the development of PV technology, I would have never ever thought that we come even close to where we are today. I mean, having had 50 gigawatts of installations last year only, I would have never believed that. I, I guess nobody would have believed that. There were... Yeah, because we are meeting, I was at API, you were at uh, the council, and so you were a bit, you know, skeptical about solar, actually. Yes, that's true, I was, but I changed my opinion. I mean, as much as solar changed, as much as costs have dropped, as much my opinion also has changed. I believe that the future dominating energy source will be solar nothing else. I mean, then there will be wind and then there will be many other technologies playing a smaller role, but the main dominating source will be solar. I believe in that. And as I said, 15 years ago, I wouldn't have believed where we are today. And looking at the future, I mean, just this morning, I presented the Global Market Outlook, our new flagship report for this year, um, looking at the next five years, and we see that the capacity, the annual installed capacity, will double in the next five years. Yes, but actually, you know, it, it can be even uh, more quick, yes? Yes, it can be. I mean, it's the three Ps, policy, 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 that determine what is happening. Energy markets are not markets for T-shirts or Kiwis. They're heavily regulated. The policy plays the major role in what is going forward. This is why we need a serious change in the way energy markets are organized. But we don't speak only about energy, actually, now, yes? We speak about the whole energy and transportation solution, even including the uh, society behavior, yes? Yes, I mean, the energy business will be a different one in the next 10 to 20 years. There's going to be energy services that will be offered, that will be services for heating, for transport, for electricity, for all things combined. Your self-driving car will come once you order via the internet that is driven by the electricity. Your self-driving car will automatically come when you order movie tickets. This will all be organized in a, in a way. So energy will be a question of energy services. The generation aspect plays a much smaller role because the generation aspect in the production is totally different. We have no source costs anymore when wind and solar are dominating future energy markets. So Oliver, as I was mentioning, you are one of the, let's say, pioneers of European lobbying for renewables. And you remember at the beginning, our main goal was just to work together within the renewables, yes, and try to represent um, our industries towards the European Con um, Commission, institutions, member, member states. But now I think it's, it's, it's changing, yeah, because normally uh, if you represent the whole system, so normally you should work now also with other actors, yeah, like electric cars, like um, utilities organizations. Uh, how do you lobby if you compare uh, to the lobbying in the past? We are out of the niche, I would say. When we had 0. Point something percent of market share, we were a niche player and we could act as a niche player. Now we are out of the niche. In certain markets we have 8, 9, 10 percent annually of install capacity and we'll be much more. We will have 50, 60, 70, so we are the dominant player. And so we have to act as a mature player as well. Mm -hmm. And this is also reflected in the way we are doing lobbying. We are collaborating still with other renewables, but with those who really play a big role, like wind. But we are also talking to gas players. Gas offers flexibility. We are talking to battery operators, because battery is also something that offers flexibility. We are talking to the Googles and Facebooks of this world who will drive demand and supply side and bring that together in future. So we are broadening the scope of the association. This it's is really like exciting, yeah, no? It is a totally exciting time. I mean, when I took over the presidency of the association two years ago, it was already exciting, but still it is even more. Yes. We are driving that. I mean, it's also reflected in our name change. It's just showing that there is the solar sector is not just panel manufacturers. It's much more. We are a serious player on energy markets, not just electricity also. So, Epia, 
and Solar Power Europe now was always supporting um, UPVSEC and I remember it was a very important event in the organization ag agenda. And what about uh, now and the future? How do you see the cooperation with UPVSEC and what UPVSEC stands for Solar Power Europe? PVSEC is, is a major and dominant player, uh, so it was for us very important and it will continue to be very important. And particularly the whole scientific track that is here represented at EU PVSEC plays a major role because I mean we are a young industry, there's still a lot of innovation to come. So this is, is a big and important thing to us. I personally, now speaking as uh, an employee from SunPower, mm -hmm. I enjoy it that the two conferences are now together at one place mm -hmm. in just one week. So it's one trip less per year. Mm -hmm. So uh, something I can say personally very good, but overall it's very exciting that EU PVSEC and will continue to play a major role. Thank you so much, Oliver, and uh, I know you have a very busy agenda, and thanks for finding time. Pleasure. That was Solar PVTV, together with the president of uh, former EPIA, now Solar Power Europe, Oliver Schaffer from EU PVSEC. Thank you.